All right, guys, welcome back. How was your break? Good. Good. What did you guys do? We went to Target and we got uh, some stuff. Yeah. For the house. Who went to Target? Me, my mom, and Joe. Awesome. Okay. All right. So before we get started, first of all, welcome back. And um, before we get started, I want us to do a little activity. Okay. Are you ready for it? Thumbs up if you're ready. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So what do you see here? Just tell me what you see here. There's no right or wrong answer. Just tell me what you see here. A girl, a girl playing on the sand in the beach. We see a girl playing on the sand and we see the beach. Okay, what else? The water and, and the sun and the starfish. The we bucket. see that too. What else do we see? How do we, um, how does a girl look? Is she sad? Is she happy? Or how does she look? She's happy. She's smiling and everything. She is smiling. But what, how do we, because we know that she's happy because you said that she's smiling, right? She's having fun because she's doing, she's doing an activity. She's doing a sand castle. She really is. Okay, so if I ask you the following questions based on what you told me, I feel like we can find out what is going on in this story. So who is in the story? Who, I mean, on the picture, I'm so sorry. Who is in this picture? A girl. A girl, okay. So we know, we know a girl. Do you guys, do you guys want to name her? Give her a name. Um, no. Jaden, do you want to give her a name? How about, uh, let's see. Hmm. How about Miss Garcias? Okay, Miss uh, Miss Garcias, you said? Yeah. Okay, so we know Miss Garcias, right? Yeah. So what is Miss Garcias doing? She's claiming the sack. She's playing with the sand. Okay. And where is she playing? Where is this? What is this place? Is this Disneyland? Is this Universal Studios? Where is she playing? The beach. The beach, the beach right? So, so far, we know that Miss Casillas is playing where, you said? The beach. And she's building a castle. Okay, cool. Now, um, what time of day do you think this is? In the afternoon. In the afternoon, why? What evidence do you see in this picture that Cause, makes? Because the sky is blue and the sun is shining, and at nighttime it's the sky is like pretty bluish grayish, mm -hmm. and the, the moon is out. Awesome. Okay, now this might be a tricky question. Why do you think she's happy? Why do you think she went to the beach? There's no right or wrong answer here. You are creating your own story. She is. She went to the beach because it's summer. And uh, everyone goes to the beach in summer or what? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> so based on this picture, you guys were able to tell me a story. You told me that Miss Casillas is building a castle. She went at the beach. She went during summertime because it's sunny and it's bright. You guys gave me a whole story. You guys are basically practicing how to be writers just by looking at the picture, at the evidence the picture showed us. You guys are pretty good, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little video. Okay. I lied. I'm not gonna show you the video. All right, I'm gonna talk to you guys about what you're gonna do today, okay? So we're going to read this together, okay? One, two, three. Let's start. I understand the details in a text by answering questions such as where, why, when, and how. How? You guys told me, if we go back to the picture, you guys told me who was in that picture. You guys told me what? Miss Casillas was doing. You guys told me where she went. You guys told me why she went there. 
and you guys told me um what she was doing you guys are basically already practicing this right so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the video that's gonna give you a little bit more of information okay you did it It's time to figure it out, leave without any doubt. I have some friends to help me. Here's how it's gonna go. I'll ask each one what they know. That's how we build the story with who, what, when, where, and why. Well, I'll be guide you and you'll mystify. gets me away each and every morning where jumps right under the bed i know it wants to be fed it's always without warning to what when where why will i have to guide you when you're mystified oh like a private eye they gather all the information for the Investigation, work it out with the woman where I by your side. How was that video? That was really cool. I liked it. Who, yeah. uh, where, and why? Basically, this is what you guys did based on that picture. You gathered all that information on that picture, and you guys were able to investigate what was happening. So you guys are like little spies when you guys are doing all of this. So first, we have who, uh, what, what, when, where. No, why? Why? And the last one is how. Oh, wow. This is the only one that does not start with the W. We have the five W's and how. So how many W's do we have? Five. Five. And all of this will help us, you know, get some evidence to find out what's really happening, either in pictures, in books, in songs. You ask yourself all of these questions all the time. You guys are basically being detectives like every day. So, who, what, where, why, how, when? How do we use this? How do we know when to ask the right question? Who, if you look at this picture right here, who? That refers to a person in the story. It could refer to characters in the story like a lion. Mr. Sam, what right here? More information. This basically refers to the thing that's happening or the event that's gonna happen or what's happening. For example, um, at the beach, we saw Miss Casillas. What, what was Miss Casillas doing at the beach? If you guys recall the story you guys came up with. A sand castle. Yeah, she was, so Miss Casillas, we have the who. What was she doing? She was building a sand castle, right? And then we have the when. When is just basically referring to a time either on the clock, 
the time of the day. It could be morning, afternoon, evening, or night. So at what time was Ms. Casillas at the beach? In the afternoon. And how do we know that? What evidence does that picture show showed that it was in the morning, I mean, the afternoon, how you said? Because the sun was out and there was a blue sky and during that nighttime, it's a pretty dark. Yeah, do we see the at. sun when we're sleeping in the night? No. We don't, okay? And then we also have the where. Basically, the where just describes the place where the, where everything takes place in. What was the where for the, where was she building the sandcastle? The beach. At yeah. the beach, good. She was, you know, at the beach. And the why, we don't know why she was there, but as good, you know, um, you could infer, you basically, based on that picture, you came up a reason why because it's summer, that's why she went, right? Yeah. And how does she look? How is giving us a lot more information? How does someone look? How does, I don't know, a cake taste? How does the, the sand smell? How does she look at the picture? How did Ms. Casillas look? I know. She looked happy because she was smiling. Because she was smiling, right? Good, now. Why is this important? Why is Ms. Gonzalez giving us all these questions? Where, when, why, what? Why is this important? Well, because you guys are readers. You guys read every day, okay? And good readers always ask questions. If I'm reading a book, who is the story about? Who are the main characters? When did the event happen? When does it take place? Why did the problem happen? Why did they solve it that way? What? What is going on? What is the story about? What's the problem? Where? Where were the characters? Where did it take place? How? How did they solve the problem? How did the story end? All these questions are questions that you're gonna ask yourselves as detectives because you guys are just detectives when you guys are reading something to just better understand what's happening in a story or a movie too, or a song when you guys read the lyrics. Yeah. Okay, so during our lesson, we're gonna play the roles of detectives and we're going to be looking for clues in a lot of pictures and text to find out the five W's. Do we remember what the five W's are? Can you guys say them? Who, what, when, where, why. Yeah, and what's the one that does not have a W? Which one doesn't have a W? How. Yeah. How, okay. Now, how are you going to do this? When you read, there's a lot of words that's normal to get confused and to just miss where you were reading and to go back and find that information. Just to help us stay a little bit organized, we're going to be highlighting them. You guys have used highlighters before, right? Yes. Yes. So we're just going to highlight them. We're going to highlight the what in yellow. We're going to highlight the when in blue. We're going to highlight the why details in pink. We're going to highlight the where details in green. And we're going to highlight the um, who details in orange. Okay. So once again, how many W's do we have? Five. And how, and which one's the one that doesn't have a W? There you go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add this link to the chat real quick, and then you're gonna click on it, and then you're gonna sign in, okay? All you have to do is add your name, or you can just go to classkick.com and add that code, whatever is easiest for you, okay? Let me know when you're in, okay? Okay. Well, almost. Okay, we're in. You're in? Yeah. All right, questions. You're gonna see these words a lot too. Who, what, where, when, why, how, who. Look, we have people here. Remember who talks about what? What are we describing when I say who? When I ask who? What do I wanna know? 
who did like to describe the person or tell her the tell the person that said who their name yeah and what what do, when i say what happened what do i want to know what details do i want go back to the, your the story about the the one that you came up with with miss casillas what was she doing she was in the beach happy building a sand castle and it was in the afternoon mm -hmm. and there's a starfish in the ground perfect so I added this as my first slide because while we're practicing, if you if you forget, always go back to this slide. And there's also pictures here, okay? So go on to the next slide. We're gonna do this once together, okay? okay? We're going to read the sentences and then we're going to highlight the information, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and read the first sentence. Sandra and Lexi are getting ready to go to the park at four o'clock. So I'm gonna start with, who? And that's going to be my orange highlighter. Who? Does this sentence tell me who is getting ready to go to the park? Yeah. Who is getting ready to go to the park? Um, Sandra. No, Sandra and Lexi. Yes, this is who. So we're going to go ahead and highlight this one orange. Now let's go to what? Let's go ahead and change that one to yellow. What are they doing? What are Sandra and Lexi doing? Getting ready to go They're to getting the park. Getting ready. Getting ready. And now we have where. We're going to change it to green. Where are Sandra and Lexi going? To the park. To the park. We're going to highlight that green. And then we have the when. What does when describe? Um, when describes the time and they're, they're going at four. At four o'clock. Look, based on this one sentence, we know that Sandra and Lexi are getting ready to go to the park at four o'clock. We know who, we know what they're doing, we know where they're going, and we know at what time. Now, let me add some questions for you. It's not on the slide. Why do you think they're going to the park? Remember, there's never a right or wrong answer. It's just, you know. To play. To have play. Fun. Okay. And how do you think they got there? How do you think they got to the park? Well, they go by walking. Walking? Bicycles or driving. Yeah, either way. Good job. All right. I like that you guys are participating. And you guys are actually pretty, pretty good at letting me know the who, the what, the where, when, why, and how. Next slide. All right. Roger went camping in the mountains last week and enjoyed roasting marshmallows. We're going to start with who? Who Roger. went? Roger. Roger. And what color is that? Orange. Orange. Okay. And then you get, and then I need you to tell me what am I going to look for next? What is this right here? When? When? When oh. is this one? Do you guys want to talk about when? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, when did he go? He went last week. Last week. Awesome. Okay. How about the where? Where did he go? He went. He went camping. He went camping where? Camping to the woods or the mountains. Where did he go? To the beach to camp? No, the mountains. The mountains right here. Where is right here? Okay. And what did he do? What did he, what, what is Roger doing that's so special? He, he was went marching marshmallows. Roasting. Yes. Yeah, so first I heard went camping and he's also... What is he doing? He is roasting. Yes. Roasting marshmallows. So what about Roger? Oh, he went camping and, you know, he's also roasting marshmallows. Awesome. And um, why do you think he went? It's not in the sentence, but why do you think he went? Um, To have fun and to enjoy the view. The view, okay. Um, how do you think he got there? How do you think he got up to the mountains? 
He was driving. By driving? Do you think he drove? No, his parents. His parents. Do you, why do you think he didn't drive? Because he's, he's too young. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Lola woke up early in the morning to brush her teeth to get ready for school. Who woke up early in the morning? Lola. Lola. And that color is what color are you going to highlight it? Orange. Orange. Okay, let's see. When did she wake up? Early in the morning. Yes, early <laughs> in the morning right here. I like that blue. Okay. And um, let's see. What did she do? What about Lola? She woke up. She woke up, right? I'm sorry, why? She... why did she wake up? For school. To get ready for school, right? Yeah. And what was Lola doing to get ready for school? Changing and brushing, brushing her teeth. teeth. Brushing her teeth. Probably brushing her, te her teeth. Yes. Do you think Laura made it on time for school? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Woke up early in the morning. Yep, because she woke up early in the morning. You see all the information that you're getting just by organizing the key details? Mm -hmm. All right. So you, are, you guys are going to be reading detectives okay? okay so we're gonna read one passage i had two but based on the time i think we're only gonna do one yeah. so it seems like a lot but it's not okay every year in october the smith family takes a camping trip they like to go camping so they can spend time together and add pictures to their memory books when the Smith family is all packed up, they jump into their van and drive to Camp Coconut. After they get up to the campsite, they set their tents, start a fire, and go swimming in the lake. Later, when it starts to get dark, the Smith family sits around the campfire roasting marshmallows and telling funny stories. The best part of their camping trip is all the fun pictures they take. They usually stay for three days and they head out on um, the head back home. They take their tent down, pack up the van, and leave around sunset. Each year is always more fun than the year before. Now, we're going to do the same thing we did for that one sentence. We're going to do it, we're gonna do it for the same passage, for this passage, okay? Now, who went to a camping trip? The Smith family. Yes. And what color is that? Orange. Orange. The Smith family, okay. Um, when do they go to the camping trip? October. October, yes. Every year in October. Awesome, Jaden. All right. And what are they doing? What does the Smith family do every year in October? What do they do? They go to Camp Coconut. They go to a camping trip. You gave me really good information, but I need to highlight it in a different color because they went on the camping trip. I know what they did. And you told me where they went and what color is that? Um, green. Green. What was the name of the camp you said? Camp Coconut. Camp Coconut. There you go. And why do they like going there? Why do they like going to the camping trip? They like going to the camping trip because they get, they get more time to spend with each other. Yeah. They go to, they, it says right here on the second sentence, they like to go camping so they can spend time together and add pictures to their memory books, right? Yes. And how do they get there? In a car. In a but car? Next to the title, there's like two cars. Oh, you're looking at the pictures. That's smart. Yep. I like how you're looking at pictures and looking at everything. But in the passage, it tells you exactly what kind of car it is. After they get to the campsite, they set up their tent, start the fire, and go swimming in the lake. 
Later, when it starts to get dark, the Smith family sits around the campfire roasting marshmallows and telling funny stories. The best part of their camping trip is all the fun pictures they take. They usually stay there for three days and they get and they head back home. They take their tent down, pack up the van, and leave around sunset. So how do they get to the camping um, to Camp Coconut? They go with the van. A van right here. They go in the van. You guys are doing so good. Um, I think so. Exit ticket. Remember, you guys need to participate on the exit ticket. Everyone needs to do it. And you need to remember to let Ms. Gonzalez know how confident you feel about this activity. So your exit ticket is highlighting the information. This is the sentence right here. You need to highlight the information and you need to answer those two questions. There is no wrong or right answer at all. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of time so you can you know, do this. And when you are done with your exit ticket, you are going to circle how you felt, how confident you felt about today's activity. This is my best work. I am capable of improving, or this may take some time, okay? So I'll go ahead and do that and then submit it. Once you're done, you are good to go. You just have to remember to check Google Classroom for your homework. Do we have any questions? No. Okay, so go ahead and work on that and submit it to me, okay? Okay. Thank you.